So Lux Lung 8 is a very interesting study. <clears throat> we forget that in the context of uh, our focus on uh, EGFR mutation that the vast majority of patients do not have actionable drivers. This is true of most patients with adenocarcinoma in the lung and it's uh, true of virtually all patients with squamous cell carcinoma. So Lux Lung 8 was a prospective phase three trial in the second and third line setting that directly compared afatinib, a second generation EGFR TKI, versus erlotinib in patients with squamous cell malignancy. Uh, and to my surprise, it actually showed uh, a statistically significant, I'd argue clinically meaningful benefit. We saw an improvement in response rate, a statistically significant improvement in progression-free survival, and more importantly, an improvement in overall survival. Now, the improvement was modest. It was only on the order of a month and a half or two months, and many have argued that uh, that degree of improvement is really irrelevant. Uh, certainly, that was the uh, uh, contention of uh, the uh, discussant uh, at ASCO, uh, but I would argue otherwise. Any agent that leads to a survival improvement, regardless of the degree of improvement, should uh, be considered as part of our uh, therapeutic armamentarium. And the story behind this is a little bit more complex. Again, the TKIs were originally approved in uh, the setting of unselected patients. We didn't know about EGFR mutations in uh, 2003, 2004, 2005. It was just emerging at that point. If we go back to the original BR21 trial, uh, which compared allotinib to placebo, there was a overall response, progression-free, and overall survival benefit. And that benefit was observed regardless of histology. In fact, if you look at the group least likely to benefit from TKIs, uh, patients with squamous cell, males, smokers, they still had a survival benefit versus placebo. Now, 10 years later, Afatinib shows a further benefit versus erlotinib, which had already shown a benefit versus placebo. So uh, some could argue this is rampant incrementalism, but this is uh, uh, the, the nature of our uh, uh, treatments. We keep building, maybe by baby steps, but we keep seeing gradual improvements, particularly in the uh, unselected population. We don't see the doubles, triples, and home runs that we've observed in uh, those with molecular or oncogenic drivers.